So welcome to SPEC 727. This is the final course in your thesis sequence and uh, I'm glad to have you all back. As you know, I'm Mike Barber and you know that because we were together in SPEC 726 over the summer. So I'm getting you back from Linda now and Linda having taught you in 722. So uh, at this stage, we've gone over the literature review, which is chapter two of your thesis. Linda in 727 has gone over essentially chapter one or your proposed methodology. That would have also gotten you into a position where you can complete the IRB that's required. And now in this class in 727, I'm going to be working with a colleague of mine, uh, Thelmisha Vincent. And uh, Thelmisha and I are going to take you through chapters three and chapters four. So as we'll see in a second, chapters three are essentially your um, what you actually did in terms of the methodology and then what you found as you enacted that project, which is where Thelmisha is actually going to be the one that's going to spend most of her time uh, focused upon that area. And then chapter four is how do you make sense of those results in light of what we already knew from the literature? Uh, what are you taking away from this, both uh, from a research standpoint as well as a practitioner standpoint? And then if you had to do it all again, based upon what you've currently learned, what would you look at next? Um, so that's chapter four, and that's where I'm going to be focused upon this semester. Uh, but let's take a quick look just at the specifics of some of the items that we have uh, this semester. So when you log into the course, it will look something like this. As you can see by the purple indicated around the screen, I'm in student view, so this is what you would see. And as you can see here, we've got all of the different modules for the different components of your thesis. Now, obviously, we aren't going to go through all of these individually because many of them you've seen before. In fact, the thesis overview would have been part of both 726 and 722, as was the conducting ethical research. We did the academic writing as well as APA and the literature review section in 726. Um, 722 was focused primarily upon the introduction section as well. You also had a fair amount of instruction on the methodology section. So this course really is going to spend some time on the methodology section and the results section, some time on the discussion section, and some time on the conclusions and implications section. And then we've also got these standard items here at the bottom as well. So what we'll do as we go through the course, you'll notice if you go to the syllabus link over here, you'll see that we've got the syllabus presented right here. And then we have various parts of the course. And as we go through, what you'll note is that we will have synchronous classes. So the first one will happen sometime between the 25th and the 28th. We're still working on the exact scheduling as we're trying to figure out when some of the other classes are being offered. And once we have that on the calendar, it'll be added to that calendar. So it'll show up here in this course summary for you where you can access that information. Now, if you go to look at the assignments area, you'll see the assignments are really divided into two kinds of areas. There are, in your case, upcoming assignments and undated assignments. If I show by type, you'll see that it goes by checkpoints required to advance. And here's sort of all of the pieces that you're going to be responsible for. And then there's the assignments to pass the course. And then here's the things that you're going to submit when you're ready to submit the final versions of these things. So one of the first things that's coming up is as of this coming Friday, I want you to submit your current draft. So that way, both Themisha and I can go in and take a look to see exactly where you are coming out of 722. Now, as we look through the various sections here, you'll see the next thing that's coming up is a week after that, you're going to work with Themisha and I to come up with a plan for completion. Essentially, you're going to create a schedule that looks at when you plan on having all of these components done as well as with all of these components done. 
And when you plan on meeting with Themisha and I as we go through this process. Now, we will have some full group synchronous classes, probably a few more than what you had in 726, a few less than what you likely had in 722 but we'll still have them on a regular basis. In addition to that, depending upon where you're working, mainly if you're in this area here where you're doing IRB or Chapter 3 or data sheet or completed data sheets, graph, any of that kind of stuff, you'll be meeting with Themisha. If you're working more on the Chapter 2 stuff or the Chapter 4 stuff, you'll be meeting individually with me. So that's how we're going to kind of go through the course of the semester. And in fact, if you actually go into the template for your thesis, which is here in Module 1, most of you probably already have this as of right now, but here's the thesis template. And if I were to go and click on the thesis template and bring it up, you'll see that when you scroll down here into the table of contents, You've got your Chapter 1 stuff, which is the stuff you would have worked on in 722 with Linda. You've got your Chapter 2 stuff, which is the stuff you would have worked on with me in 726. And as most of you, actually all of you, were in a position where that was uncompleted or incomplete, that this is something you're still going to be working on. The Chapter 3 stuff, all of this here, is the stuff you're going to be working with Thelmisha with. Um, so if you are in this portion of your thesis, she's going to be the person that you're going to be working primarily with. And then when you get past Chapter 3 and into Chapter 4, this is where you'll come back and start working with me again. So that's how we're going to work our way through this particular course as we go through and uh, support you at to the completion of your thesis. So I know I speak for Themisha when I say that both of us are really looking forward to working with you this semester. Um, in my case, I'm coming back and joining you guys again. In her case, she's going to be coming to you guys new. Um, so you'll get both that perspective that has already seen some of your work before, as well as a fresh set of eyes to go over and look at some of the things that you've been working on. Uh, but we're both very much looking forward to this, and uh, we will be uh, eager to begin working with you over the next 15, 16 weeks.